Hello, thanks for joining me for another mystery beer. So here we are, I'm just about to start another bottle share with my good friend Saison Sai, and this is a bit loose, it's just been covered round, so I have to be a bit careful of it. So it looks like a 330ml can. Um, best before the 2nd of August of 2019, so we'll get into that in a minute. Let's try and be careful of this, open it up. Let's see what we we have. There we go. That cracked the beer and frothed it all up right around the top. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's get into this. The beer in the glass. Oh, it's coming out a bit skew whiffy. Yeah. Carbonation for sure, one and a half finger, white head, tightly packed bubbles, kind of a, a nice kind of light amber in colour. So, I mean almost like a, a, a stronger lager sort of colour, but we'll get into that in a minute. Let's try and open this properly so that I'm getting the rover on the can. Wow. Mm. Kind of a... Maybe mango, something like that. Let's give it a swirl and a, a sniff out of the glass then. You're getting more of a kind of a, a slight more malt. Reminded me a little bit of a lager, maybe a German style, possibly. Don't know. On aroma, I'm going for maybe I don't know. Let's just have a taste to see what we get. Cheers, cheers, sir. Si. There's definitely some kind of, I say definitely, it's coming across like some kind of, um, maybe a, a lager, um, I don't know, maybe a lager malt, I'm not too sure. Which reminded me of some of the um, beers I had out in Portugal earlier in the year. It's got a lovely kind of biscuity, bready kind of malt, but it's a very smooth mouthfeel. When I mean, colour wise, there was a light kind of that's, that malt was really hanging around on the palate. Biscuity, white white crust bread malt. It's the malts that are doing it for me, I think. There is a light kind of oh, what's the fruit? Maybe lychee or something like that. Slightly dry. Earthy, light citrus. Don't know. Is that just that twang at the back end that's just really making me think how how wrong I'm going to be? Almost certainly, which I'm you know I'm fine with. I mean, I get ABV wrong sometimes on the reviews. It just just flies out. Um, so it wouldn't be the first time. At least I have an excuse this time for being wrong. Um, rubbish palette. It's 
got a, more of a, 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 a slight citrusy edge. There is more of a bitterness coming through. I really don't know what this is. Maybe a pills. Maybe a pills. Doesn't look like a pills though, does it? It's quite a shade darker. It definitely had lager edge to it. Something like that. I don't know, but with a, a hot type, maybe an IPL. This could be an IPL. <laughs> One more taste. Yeah, I'd go for an IPL. Um, possibly Four pure. Was it tree, tree lime, something like that? I'm gonna go for that for a guess. See what we get. And I'm well wrong. It's not even an IPL. It's a pale ale. Wow. And it's path. Is it path maker from Black Sheep? Quite a multi pale ale for me. Um, these guys, it's 5.6% ABV, I didn't even go for the, the ABV guess, 330 mil, and they're, I think they're out of, uh, yeah, North Yorkshire, Masham, North Yorkshire, so, yeah, very wrong, um, definitely getting the pale, the, the, the kind of a hoppy part, but then that lager thing really kind of threw me, and it's still... Yeah, it just tastes like a bit more of an IPL, but that, that malt build is, is quite strong, I'd say, for a pale ale. There you go. Anyway, so that's uh, Path Maker Pale Ale from the Black Sheep Brewery. Interesting looking beer. I think this could be available in Weatherspoons, I'm not even too sure. Um, I think it's this or it might be something else. Whatever. So anyway, thanks again to Simon. Another mystery beer review. That's very wrong. But yeah, decent beer. Check them out. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next review. Cheers.